Alright, welcome to another episode of Floating Memories. It's been a while, and I attribute that to um, a small lack of interest in Complete the Monument maps recently. But, we're back. So that's done. And we left off in the snowman. We found nothing except a ton of lag. My armor is pretty much gone. And we only have one wool left. So, let's clear this up just a bit. Like that. How much food do we have? 5, 3, and 51 bones. And a dirt. So, we're good on food. We also have 35 of these, which I'll eat. You can eat spider eyes as well. And, uh, based on the locations of the other wolves, oh, this forest is going to be evil. If I could get on the trees, that'd be cool. But I believe the last wolves in the Badlands, oh, my sword's nearly dead too. And I have no backup. Except stone. So be careful. And I also need to go there again, anyways, for diamond. Even if there is no wool there. I believe I'm searching for green. Yeah, I think it's green. These trees are nicely uh, close together. You can just walk it. Oh no. Give me up here. Stop. How many arrows do I have? More than a full stack. So we'll go with that. Arrows seem the best. Because sword's dead. But I believe green is left. Um, the wool b before green is in, was in the volcano. I believe that was blue. And the wool after is red. And that was in there for sure. So it's either in there. Or in there before the red. Or in there after the blue. But I don't think it was in there because we already searched it and we searched the storm clouds. So yeah. Thank you, Skelly. You went to the perfect spot to die. Oh no. Okay. Ooh, brown mushroom. I wonder what I have in this chest. Okay, no mobs coming. Oh yeah, okay, so red wool we have. Ender pearls. Could go teleporting around. A ton of food. Just a ton. <laughs> Might as well take it. Ah, oh, here's my iron. Alright, so... I won't make armor out of it, but a spare sword will definitely be good. Iron's good. Iron and diamond swords basically have the same attack power. Unless you critical hit every single hit with a diamond, you actually get one less hit needed. But if you normal, like just swing normally without criticaling, uh, iron and diamond will kill them in the same amount of strokes. The only difference would be durability. So I don't mind. What just happened right there? Or what will happen right here? Actually, really, really good idea would be to set spawn and sleep off this night and eat while I'm in bed. I'm not in combat now, so I don't care about the hunger and. Take a burn while I starve. What a what a nice world. 
burning and starving. But let's go. So, first place I'm gonna search is the uh, caves. If I could remember the entrance I made. Actually, I believe. Was it over here? Whoa! Okay, now, try it here. I think. Here we go. I kind of want to check up here while I'm over here. This is a crazy ravine. There's light over there, but it could be daytime light. But bridge over just in case. Get some light in here. Diamonds are below the diamond area with the red wool. I remember that much. What is that? Oh, it's creeper feet. Right there. I don't like this. We're going... Ugh. <laughs> I don't like this at all. What's up there? Don't want to miss anything, because I do that a lot. Open world maps, I would be awful at. Okay, this is just daytime. But there's sand. Let's up at the sand. Oh. I don't trust that. I don't trust you one bit. Where did you go? Okay, there's another ravine. Wait, no, that is clay. Um. Okay, yeah, that's just clay. I thought that was sand for a minute. And. Skelly out there. Why are there creepers and skellies everywhere? I'll come down this way. Wanted to kill that guy. Oh, I can. These need a switch, because that's what I'm used to. So I keep attacking with my pickaxe. Sharpness sword. What's my pick? Unbreaking, that's cool. And... We might as well search by the red. Oh, and we're going down anyways. It's lava. Diamonds. Okay, there's my workbench from before. One of my many. Okay, so. While I'm doing this, might as well say some channel news. I'm thinking of having a schedule. Like, no, I said I never wanted to do a schedule, but I'm actually debating it now. Um, I like the idea of... My survival series being on Saturday gives me a full week to build, which I I will I find actually a I like that I like that I have a full week. Okay, and as far as other things go. Thank you, Skelly. Um, I don't really have any plans for that. Anything else at this moment? Um, uh, 
Okay. We don't need to craft anything else. These snowballs need to go away. Same with one clay block. But, so, my single player series will be once a week on Saturday. And other stuff will be, I'm thinking, two Complete the Monument videos per week. On not any specific days. It depends on... How much homework I have and when it's due. But I'll do my best to get two out per week. Which means I'll get back on the CTM maps. Which I, th I feel like I will. I've been... I've been more into Race for Wolves recently. And multiplayer maps. So let's double check this is red. Okay. So that's why I've lost focus on CTMs, but I shouldn't, because that's this is where it all starts. Race for Wolves. It all started with this CTM maps. And it all started by Vex of course. But Yeah. After this, I've been getting suggestions for LPs to do, uh, maps to do. Um, basically, my thoughts behind it are the less popular they are, the more likely I'm going to do them. Because, like, test them out, give, give people a chance to uh, see their maps in action, give them good feedback. Um... And that, that's always been the case, really, including uh, uh, Corrupt Lands, because when I first started Swamp Pissarro, I was the very first one to ever do LP, and there were just only, like, one or two pages of responses. And they're, they're great maps, and they actually got the attention they deserve, because that's another theory of mine. If you deserve the attention, you'll get it eventually. Even if you're unlucky at the start and it takes a while to get it, you'll eventually get there. And let's see if I can't get this right. Xero Thomas. I'll see if that's correct. Oh yeah, there's creeper spawners around here. Xero Thomas, if that's pronounced correct. He deserves attention greatly, and he got it. Uh, he got a fair bit of it, like pauses, pauses stream, stuff like that. Whoa, and that's really cool. I'll definitely play Cruplands Three on camera when it comes out. Did that hurt, Creeper? Okay, so I'm thinking switching up here. But yeah. Uh, so, these popular maps are on the top of my list just to give authors a fair chance. Hey! Hey! So, two. Two um, uh, CTM map, uh, um, ah, can't words. <laughs> Two CTM LPs per week is my goal, and one survival series on Saturdays. I view that as a good plan. Hopefully you do too. I am i can't be a person at this moment to make videos every day. That's just intense. Um, I've mentioned that already. So I won't go into detail here. But where is the screen wall? I'll now focus on that. So, wasn't in the ravine. 
I could use more arrows. It wasn't in the diamond mines. Unless I'm totally blind again. Head that way. It's already becoming nighttime. And normally I do my channel announcements on my world tour types my survival series. World Tours with Doc M calls the LP style and his series. But mine generally follows that same pattern. Cause I work on it and then go and that's where most of my Just a random hole here. Okay, I'm lost and falling. And Cruplands 3 is going to be open world, which, as I said, is not my style, but I'm going to check it out. Maybe I. Maybe I'm pretty good at it, just haven't had any practice with it. Or maybe I gained skills for it through. Aha! Stuff down here. And over here. Oh, that's a dead end. But maybe I gained some unknown skills for. What was that? You see that smoke cloud? Okay, well, I'm starving here. Dang you, mouse. Alright, let me get my mouse batteries. I'll be right back. And we're back. There's light up there. Darkness could actually help me a bit. Let's not worry about a full on staircase. Let's just go up. Gravel, we could use that to get up. What's this light? Come on, be something good. Be something not other than my own glowstone. Dang it. Nothing there. Sigh. Man, I want to finish this, but I have no clue where this screen wool is. I feel like I'm... got turned around somehow. Oh, greetings. Oh wait, oh it has knockback too, that's cool. King of the hill chest up there. <sighs> Where is this green wall? Okay. So I'm on this side of this place. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll run around here, speed this part up from here and show you what I find if, if I find anything.
found it. I finally found this thing. Green wool. Oh yeah. So. My thoughts on running through this. Were. Uh, first I searched around the border of the place. I couldn't find anything. So I searched the ravines around the edges. So couldn't find anything. Searched around the middle. And then I went back to the diamond place to search again. I did find a... A fun box type thing without the cobble. Uh, there's a lot of zombie sounds. Like uh, Every time I heard a mob, I dug to it and lit it up. I found the skeleton in a little, uh, a little hole. Found all those zombies just... <laughs> Hanging out on like two blocks because of all those nine spawners and nowhere else to spawn. Um, and then I decided to go to the top of this thing. Because to get a bird's eye view. And from this view. There wasn't, I didn't see much going on. And was thinking and if red wool is at the bottom of this place and green wool is before it then I should green wool should generally be between here and there but it wasn't near the start and so then I thought that if it wasn't between them it will be up to down and this huge huge uh, pillar here is much thicker than all the rest, which made me thinking that there was a dungeon maybe inside. So I started digging down through it, and it turns out green wool is there, in there. Dug down here, and then I reached this huge chasm, and then I saw a ledge, and I dug down to here, and I saw the brick. And there we go, green wool. I think this might lead to summer though. Also, I used flints. I ran out of glowstone pretty quick and I didn't have any torches on me. So I was like, what should I use instead? And then I <laughs> kind of forehead smacked. Duh, everything's nether, nether rack, so you could easily use flint and steel to light it all on fire. I like the uh, one high places so you don't accidentally walk into it. And that's a lot of mobs. This was a dungeon. I want to know where it starts though. Oh, it's here. Apparently. Looks like a good place for a flint. Every mob's here, including some mob spawners. So it is through the back. I do a crazy amount of clay. Mobs. They're still spawning. Okay, so the entrance is through the back all along. Alright, a clay dungeon with creepers is also a lag trap. The entrance is right there, and I think I'm just going to rush it. 
Oh, whoops, I missed. <laughs> nope. Jeez, stop it, creepers. Okay, so the back, that was, oh my goodness, I'm not done yet. But the back was, get out of here, in the back of this mountain. Alright, so, yep, that's where it was the whole time. Guess you're watching this for spoilers, that's where it is. But I hope hope you play this through yourself or don't have plans to play it through it if you watch this. But regardless, that's your choice. Not gonna bother about it. Um But let's get out of here. I'm saying I really hate this place. Um it's nighttime. How are you gonna get out of here? Okay, so, nope. Stick through. This way, light it up. Okay. Creeper, he's going down. But I got it, I got it. Green wool, oh yeah. Oh, another last thing. I was using blocks that were not nether brick or clay to bridge around. Just like the cobble, the snow blocks, stuff like that. Um, we'll take all the iron, and we'll leave nether brick. TNT's good to take. Ender pearl. Let's ender pearl our way back. Make it so that forest isn't a headache. Forty five degree angle. Look how fast that was. <laughs> I don't normally use ender pearls or yeah I don't <laughs> I don't really like them to be honest I don't like how, why they were I don't like the fact that they're added to the game it's just like teleportation ah and it makes it hard to balance faceful wool maps you have to be careful about it you could easily use them to go through so many shortcuts. And CTM maps is too, which is why I don't use them. Maybe I could risk it and end a pearl to the mountain base. Oh, 
Um, how far do, can you throw it? I believe it's the same as an egg. Hmm. Oh, well, one mountain shortcut's good. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I also made a little cobble walkway. Even though I don't need it. Alright, check this out. Yes! Complete! Thanks for watching this whole series. Stay tuned for more Complete the Monument maps coming up from smaller authors, as stated before. This is done gone. See ya! Forgot to mention, I did have these two records and the golden helmets from my journeys through this map. Thank you.